Hello guys, how are you? Today we'll be seeing how you can create variables, what are variables, what type of variables do you have and how you can use them. So we are here at the Remix app, here at the website, I will put it down in the description. I will press the plus button to have a new file, I will call it variables and we can start. Oops, Remix always says the author name, oh, okay. <clears throat> so we will start with our classic pragma solidity carrot 0 0.4.0 and semicolon and then we can start the contract so ddt okay contract this will be a very simple one called variables and there we are we will start with a string public one equals one what this means strings means it's a uh, it's there are characters Public means that it has public access and one is the name of a variable. A variable is like a placeholder that is saving up memory and you can assign in a value and how you will reference it. So my value is one, I will refer it and call it one. And the value that I will assign to this variable is one. Then I have a int public, public two. And I will make a number two. This means it's an integer it's also public and I put the name 2 as the variable and the value that I assign the variable is 2. I could also make a string non-public like 1 uh, one again and then it can have another number, another text, uh, hello world and it will be a different variable because you will reference it with another name. <clears throat> you can also have a uiint 256 it has an, uh, an interesting amount of characters it's different to ui int they are both different we'll call this one 3 equals 3 and this 4 equals 4 and the integer can have negative values but the ui int it's, it's an unsigned integer it can have ne negative values you could also have an address address I will copy it here. That's the address you can have from a wallet and this helps you transfer money. So we are in the JavaScript JM, you can put this one, copy it and then paste it and you can have an address. And also you can have a bool, my bool equals true. These are bool variables that can be just true or false. So that variable is very easy, just this is a small introduction for you to know what are them and how you can use them. Bye, see ya!